Good evening. I'd like to open up our current call transportation planning policy committee this Thursday, September 17, 2020. I'd like to start with our Pledge of Allegiance. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, for which it stands, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May we have roll call? Gorilla. President. Honey. Here. Lucinovich. Here. Couch. Here. Prisoner. Aleo. Grace. Aleo. Here. Grant. John Crump, Gonzalez or McFarland, Bauer, here, Alvarado, Fire, here, P. Smith, here. Raymond. Roberto Raymond. Here. I'm going to show up. Look at Jimmy Kiernan. Kersey filling in for Kiernan. Thank you, Mr. Kersey. Navarro? Here. And Hickman. Okay, thank you. Hi. I'm going to go back to Crump. Alvarado. And Tara. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Work number three, public comment. Uh, we have no public comments. No from the public. Everybody on the line, I would like to make uh, any public comments on the phone. Seeing them or hearing them. Um, regular percent agenda. Um, opportunity for a public comment and not hearing or uh, from anybody. We'll go on to uh, approval of a uh, uh, consent calendar from A to I. Um, consent calendar, do we have a, a motion? This is Raina, so moved. Couch, second. Okay, good. And we need roll call. Thank you. Roller? Yes. Marley A? Aye. Yes. Yes. Smith? Yes. Lena? Yes. Kersey? Yes. Navarro? Yes. Thank you. I, I just came on board. This is uh, uh, Gilbert Alvarado. Thank you, Gilbert. Oh. Okay, that is on unanimous. Uh, number five, um, 
2019 Federal Transportation Improvement Program, RAP Amendment. Mitigation Air Quality Program and Transit Program. The amendment was uh, circulated to the uh, Transportation Technical Advisory Committee via uh, uh, email September 4, 2020. Okay, and, uh, yes, good evening. Amendment number 15 includes revisions to the Congestion Mitigation Air Quality Program and the Transit Program. The public review period ends September 18th. The Kern Cog Executive Director will consider approval of the amendment on September 21st. State and federal approval is required. At this time, I ask the Chair to please open the public hearing, allow for public comment, and then close the public hearing. I open this up to the public hearing. Anybody in the public have uh, on the phone? Any comments? Hearing and seeing none, I close the public comment. Thank you. Um, now we go to uh, six uh, board member um, meeting report. Uh, there's none. Uh, Caltrans report. Good evening. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good evening, members of the committee. Hope everybody's well. Uh, before I start, I just wanted to see if, if my director was able to join us tonight or not. Diana, if she's out there, if she had any opening remarks. If not, I'll go ahead and start with the report. I didn't see her on the call, so I'll go ahead and start. Um, so one uh, first updated one, last month I reported on the California Transportation Plan 2050. We're in the midst of our 60-day public comment review. I just want to let everybody know that on September 25th from 1130 to 1 p.m. we'll be hosting a Zoom meeting. Um, you'll need to register for that. They'll be doing a live Q&A, and I've, I've asked my team to go ahead and send out invitations to your respective staff so they should be aware of it. So hopefully we get a lot of participation from our local partners. As for projects, uh, this is probably last month I'll need to report on the State Route 46, uh, Segment 4A. That project is essentially complete. Um, this is the section between Lost Hills and I-5. Um, the contract wrap gives some punch list items, so we expect that project to be complete by September 30th, by the end of the month. Next, we'll go on to Segment 4B, which is running from Lost Hills to the Aqueduct, and we'll be advertising that project in November with bids opening in January for that project. And then we continue to work on the design phase of Segment 4C. If you recall, Segment 4C is the project that we did submit for trade quarter funding. Uh, Cash Creek Bridge Replacement on State Route 58. Uh, the work that's scheduled for September is uh, to fine grade the approach slab, uh, strip deck the overhang and soffit, rebar, and place concrete on the approach slab. Uh, that project is anticipated to be complete on October 27th of this year. Uh, have a gap closure rehab project on State Route 58. Uh, in the West Brown direction, we're looking at a rebar replacing CRTP, and that work will continue through October 15th. Meanwhile, traffic will be split from Cottonwood Road to Peace Street. In the eastbound direction, we'll be also be doing rebar CRCP work, and that will also end between October 15th. And during this time, the Cottonwood uh, Chairman, excuse me, closed. excuse me for the interruption. There is a, a lot of noise. In, 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 Background. Can, can we have that person mute uh, uh, their uh, microphone so that we can hear you, Michael? He went that way. Uh, all those uh, can mute your, mute your phone. We couldn't have gotten out that fast. Oh, there he is. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. I'm sorry. Uh, if I need to go back and revisit anything, please let me know. Um, with that, I'll move forward to the Bell Terrace overcrossing. We're constructing auxiliary lane, replacing the bridge. Um, current schedule to complete that by February 20th, 2021. We're about three fourths of the way through that project, and currently CRCP construction is going on in the auxiliary lane. Uh, Bakersfield Freeway Connector, this is modifying the State Route 9958 interchange. Uh, it's scheduled for completion end of 2021. Uh, we're about 60% through this project. Work has continued to progress, and most of the work is, occur is occurring right now is structure work. 
Uh, Stockdale Highway at Enos Avenue, State Route 43 Roundabout. This work's essentially done. If you recall, there was a lighting uh, conflict that had to be resolved, but installation has now occurred and the contractor's wrapping up the final punch list items. Uh, 99 Palm Avenue overcrossing to Beersley to the Canal Bridge. Um, the Northbound Airport Drive and the Northbound 99 California on-ramp are uh, still scheduled for uh, to be reopened by the end of this month. Uh, next, there was some tentative traffic configuration changes. Traffic will switch to the next phase in the month as well, placing traffic on the outside lanes. Um, this project has been slightly delayed. There's been having some COVID impacts with the field personnel and subcontractor, but we're scheduled to complete in August of 2021. In Arvin, State Route 223, the Derby Signal Project. So we finally did receive our permit for railroad improvements in the PUC last week. That was the last item we needed to go ahead and start getting that ready for construction. This project is ready to list as of September 10th. And so the next state phase will be to get our CTC allocation. We anticipate advertising the project on October 15th with bids opening November 19th and awarding the project in February 2021. At that point, the project will, the, the contractor will need to order the signal uh, equipment. Uh, there is a anticipated lead time of about six months on that for the, for the components. So if they get them sooner, they'll start earlier, but construction will probably occur in uh, summer of next year. And then lastly, uh, for Wasco State Route 46 Poplar Project, uh, we talked about the Cap M project out there, and they'll be doing some striping activities on September 28th. And, and during those striping activities, they'll address the crosswalk that we talked about at Poplar Avenue. Uh, the country will then be ordering the RFV, which is the Rapid Flashing Beacon. And we anticipate that being delivered in the middle of November to finalize that project. With that, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Does the board have any questions for Michael? No, 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 uh, project related updates. Our Mojave uh, crew maintenance equipment building and rinser facility for all intents and purposes is complete. However, we're awaiting um, final inspection by the fire marshal, which is, as you can imagine, a little running a little behind. So we're hoping for mid October on that. Um, we also have the Tehachapi maintenance station that is now entered into the design phase. We have also a Mojave West Side Sidewalks project. This is to construct ADA pedestrian facilities in Mojave along the north edge of State Route 14 near the intersection of Business 58 and State Route 14. And currently they're working on right of way and utilities through their agreements. Um, big project we're kicking off obviously is the Rosamond Mojave Rehab. This is a pavement rehab project from 1.4 miles uh, south of Don Road Overcrossing to a half mile north of Silver Queen Road Overcrossing. Construction start is slated for October 12th or 13th, where they will begin signage and shoulder work. There's going to be a mass mailing sent out for a virtual public meeting. The virtual public meeting will be held October 6th at 6 p.m. And certainly our public information officer will um, continually update the, on the status of that project via the traffic advisories and Facebook and Twitter. Um, Non-project related items was um, we provided, and I hope you've all received it. I believe it was sent out um, to y'all or maybe in paper format, a district interactive project map. And so this is a, uh, a way to display, a useful tool to display uh, via website, our Caltrans quarterly reports. And um, so you, used it, you received a user guide, hopefully, that kind of walks you through the process and how to navigate through it. Um, so certainly, though, if you see have any problems or issues navigating through that or need further help with that, feel free to reach out to us, please. 
And then also um, our District 9 Regional Planner, Catherine Carr, uh, has started to make contact with some folks about an in, with an informal WebEx interview to identify regional issues and opportunities for State Route 202, active transportation infrastructure, and a State Route 58 corridor management plan. And uh, finally, I'd probably be remiss in not uh, touching upon, obviously, the fires going on throughout the state and Caltrans continued coordination with various agencies. And in case anyone was planning on heading to y Yosemite National Park, just let you know it is closed beginning tonight and they, for the foreseeable future, expect that to go at least through the weekend. Happy to answer any questions. Uh, I asked uh, Ryan a couple of weeks ago, and I said about uh, speed limits on uh, 58 not being uh, consistent, 65 or 70, and then coordinating with San uh, Bernardino County. Do you mind checking into that and getting back to us next month? Sure, can do. Yeah. Okay, we'll go in. Any other questions for the Caltrans? Carry none. Look at the director's report. Have a handful of items on this agenda. I'm happy to say AB 2006, which was a bill that was uh, sponsored by. Uh, Rudy Salas, signed by the governor, as a reminder, that was a bill that would allow uh, City of Bakersfield and County of Kern to negotiate with Caltrans to relinquish Morning Drive, also known as State Route 84, 184, from north of 58 to where it touches one. Just allows for it to take place if all parties can agree. Uh, thank you, thank you to us. Uh, Houghton Bakersfield area, Golden Transit is offering free rides for air quality, and they are using CMAC funds that uh, came through Kern uh, Cog to provide for those free rides. Uh, on August 7th, I met with Diana Gomez, the city manager, Bakersfield director, and went over uh, all the trip projects. I'm talking about Navarro. Um, I had a uh, complaint today about um, exiting um, Highway 58 near the National Cemetery. That's uh, 58 at 223. It's been a, a long-standing issue that uh, we've repeatedly brought up, um, and um, elected officials have repeatedly brought up. But sooner or later, there is going to be a fatality there, and um, I'd, I'd like to restart the discussion of what what we can do about putting a grade separation in there. As as you know, Kern Cog has funded a project study report, and the LP the, the solution to the problem we have there is is putting in a bridge over 58. Um, if you can work out, um, maybe in conjunction with our meetings on 46, a separate meeting um, to talk about 58 and 223, I'd appreciate it. Uh, subject to any of your questions, uh, Mr. Chairman and board members, that concludes my report. Hi, uh, Mr. Chairman, this is uh, Bill Smith in Tehachapi. And regarding uh, 
uh, Aaron's last comment on 223-58 grade separation. Uh, we uh, I attended uh, several public meetings a few years ago. Are those plans still on the shelf, or do you have to start from scratch on that? Uh, there was plans of grade separation at 223, and then uh, vacating uh, Caliente Road and having a uh, a side a side street, if you will. A uh, uh, and are those plans still uh, on the books? Councilman Smith, those plans are, are on the books. Uh, however, uh, Caltrans, uh, nor the county, have not, uh, have not moved the project forward other than the planning documents we have now. Uh, the next step would be to conduct an um, environmental analysis, prepare plan, and potentially buy right of way. Uh, we've been stuck for at least five or six years uh, at, the, at the state where we are now, which is we have a planning level study done. We know what needs to be done there, yet we, we don't have someone willing to take the lead, nor, and this is a big one, pay for the rest of the, uh, the work. I'll reiterate what Aaron said, our executive director, that it really does need to come to the forefront again and have some more discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Um, now we go on to any member statements. Hearing none, uh, we have the adjournment. Um, hello? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, this is great. Um, I'm not sure if every, anybody's gotten this information about Bolano, uh, but I was notified on Monday that we received the uh, uh, FTA grant for $1,200,295, which is CARES Act funding, but that will be coming directly to Delano. Um, so, you know, we're very grateful for uh, Congressman T.J. Cox, and he called me Monday to let us know that we have received it. And that's my news. Thank you. Any more comments? Okay, uh, I'll adjourn the County Policy Committee and go right into uh, the current council of government. Uh, roll call. Same. Um, uh, any public comments for current cog? Hearing none, seeing none, and we're going to the phone. Go to uh, the consent calendar for A through D. I have a motion. So move. This is Vallejo. Yeah. And second. Second couch. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Gorilla. Jose Gorilla. Barnier? Aye. Zinovich? Aye. Couch? Yes. Vallejo? Yes. Howler? Yes. Alvarado? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Keith Smith? Yes. And Lena? Yes. Thank you. Okay, passes. Okay. Uh, 
Next, uh, end of the uh, consent calendar. Now we'll go to Transportation Authority, if there is none. Congestion uh, Management Agency, I see none. Current Motors and Authority, none. And uh, meeting report, there is none. Now we'll go right to the uh, Executive Director's report. Good evening again, Mr. Chairman. I just have two items on this agenda. Um, one of the items in your folders or in your um, email packet that was um, sent to you today is a letter from Kings County Area Public Transit Agency describing some issues that um, Calvan is having. As all of you know, Current 5 is a member of Calvan. That's um, a agency, a public agency that provides and cooling um, services for low cost to um, to workers who won't want to um, to van pool. Uh, a lot of uh, the workers are farm workers, correctional workers, government workers. They are um, having some significant financial issues. Uh, Councilman John Crump is our member on that board. He's not in attendance tonight, but I've talked to him. Um, about some of the issues, and, and I will be, bring next month Now we're going to uh, member statement. And do we have any member statement uh, or comments? Very none. No closed session. So I'll adjourn the meeting. Our next meeting will be uh, scheduled for October 15th. Uh, see y'all then. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.